This is the new Comica VM30 shotgun microphone, but this isn't a normal shotgun microphone. This microphone has the ability to go completely wireless and it still sounds awesome. Now, before we jump into this video, I want to let you guys know that we are giving away this microphone for free and all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, comment down below, can you hear me now? And you will be eligible to win this awesome microphone for completely free, no strings attached. So first, let's talk about what comes in the box. You get the shotgun microphone, the mic mount, a 3.5 millimeter cable, and a transmitter that allows you to record wirelessly. Now, some of you guys might only have the ability to use an XLR cable, but don't worry because you can buy one of these little bad boys and these allow you to plug the 3.5 millimeter cable directly into this out and then go into your camera or a separate audio recorder like a Zoom or a Tascam. And don't worry because I'm going to leave a link to buy this and the microphone in the description down below. The VM30 is packed with features that makes this an extremely user-friendly mic for all kinds of creators. This microphone has the ability to act just like a normal shotgun microphone, plugging it directly into your camera or audio device, or just one push of a button and you could automatically connect to this wireless module, which you could then go straight into your camera or a separate audio device. And what's really cool about this little wireless module is it's so tiny and it could clip onto anything onto your audio rig or your camera rig and not add any extra weight. It's super easy to use. The microphone also comes with an OLED screen that lets you know when the mic is paired and it allows you to monitor the audio levels coming into the mic. So you can check if the mic is peaking or if the audio is too low, you can make adjustments. Now there's a ton of advantages to having a wireless shotgun microphone. For example, if you need to run a boom, then you have the ability not to have a cable attached to a boom stand or a boom pole. And that makes it a lot easier to manage, especially when you're on a set. You don't have to, you know, account for any of the additional slack or account for, you know, moving the mic around and getting caught on something or just having to deal with the hassle of a really long XLR cable. Now, if you're like me, I'm in situations where I'm filming documentaries a lot of the time. And sometimes I'm in spaces where it's really tight or maybe I can't hide a boom pole or I can't hide a really long XLR cable. Having this wireless shotgun mic will allow me to set up something really quickly and just get to filming, which is exactly what I need. Comica claims that this microphone has a wireless range of 100 meters, which in most cases is more than enough. This microphone also does pretty well in noisy environments because it has a too low cut filter and a high frequency boost. And another really helpful feature is the volume knob attached to the bottom of the microphone. This allows you to quickly turn the volume of the mic up and down. And the good thing about this volume knob is that it takes a little bit of force to actually turn the knob. So if you do hit it or it rubs against something on your, your camera rig, it's not gonna actually move the volume of the microphone, which is great. I would suggest if you're gonna do proper gain staging, you do it on your camera or you do it on your separate recording device. But if you're in a pinch and you're shooting something like a documentary, which I am a lot of the times, this is great to just be able to quickly adjust the volume if you're on the fly and you're either capturing someone that's speaking too loud or somebody that's speaking too low. You can quickly adjust the volume of the mic just by turning that volume knob, which I could definitely see will come in handy. Now, comparing this microphone to my $700 Rode NTG, here's the difference. This is the Comica VM30, and as you guys can see, the audio is pretty good. Now, we're gonna go back to my Rode NTG3, and as you can tell, the audio difference is you know, the Rode NTG is just a little bit richer, it's a little bit deeper, but back to the Comica VM30 and it's still pretty good. And I'm not gonna lie, I did have to do a little bit of audio tweaking and a little bit of EQ adjustments to get the VM30 to sound a little bit better. But coming in at a price of $171, this microphone punches way above its weight. And as you can tell, we're gonna switch back to the VM30. Right now you could hear me speaking into the VM30 and it sounds pretty good. It's, it's a pretty good sounding microphone, especially when you consider the price and all of the features that you get with this. Yes, I would say that the Rode NTG is better, but this, this is a $700 microphone versus a $171 microphone. I have to say this is a great bang for your buck option and definitely something to consider if you're a beginner filmmaker looking to buy your first shotgun microphone. Really quick, let's just talk about the few cons of this product. I will say that I did notice a little bit of interference here and there with the wireless module. So anytime you go out and you use this mic wirelessly, just make sure that you 
guys are plugging in your headphones, you're double checking your levels and you're double checking your audio and making sure that it's not running any interference. The microphone doesn't feel as sturdy as something like my NTG3. Of course, it's a much cheaper microphone. However, I'm a little bit worried that like if I drop this microphone or if I bang it up, will it stand the test of time? I don't know. I, I really couldn't tell you on that one. The, uh, the mic mount is decent but i could tell if you put a little bit of force in that mic mount it might break so you guys might want to go out and buy a little bit more sturdier or a little bit more expensive of a mic mount just to hold on to this microphone because i could definitely see if you whack this thing on a wall or you drop it the mic mount probably will break. Now let's just take a second and talk about who this mic is for. I think this mic is amazing for content creators who do a lot of vlogging or are in situations where they need a quick and easy solution. I also think that this mic is great for beginner filmmakers who wanna buy their first shotgun microphone. In my opinion, for the price of $171, it sounds great, it's loaded with features, and I definitely think it's one to consider if your price range is between that $150 to $200 mark. And the really cool thing about this mic and the receiver that it comes with is that it's extremely lightweight and it's portable, and it comes with a really awesome little case as well. And if you guys wanna buy this microphone, I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below, so be sure to buy it from that link. You'll be helping me out, which helps out the channel, which allows me to make more content for you guys. I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by, talking about this really awesome mic. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.